and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff and this time we're gonna learn a full finger style arrangement of Master of Puppets. For all you Stranger Things enthusiasts out there and for all you Metallica heads out there. So first I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note with tabs right here on the screen as usual. Wish me luck, hope I don't rip a tendon. It goes like this. Enjoy.
All right, all tendons intact. And before we jump into the tabs, um, let me just say that this requires some experience in finger style, obviously. So if you're new to finger style, what I suggest is to just practice it really, really slowly and just build up the speed as you go along. So basically the intro is almost the same as the original intro, except for the first few chords. So um, you don't even need to put E minor on, you can just play strings one, two, three, and six. And before we start the tab, let me remind you of the guitar giveaway that's going on right now on Lick and Riff. The Lick and Riff Summer Guitar Giveaway is on again uh, for another year. So at the end of the summer, one of you can win a Blue Lava Digital Smart Guitar. It's a fantastic instrument. All the details are below in the description, as well as the tabs. The tabs are for free on Lick and Riff always. So if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe right now and um, go download the tab after you finish the lesson. And while you're there, scroll down and check out my summer enrollment special for the Break Your Boundaries course program, as well as the guitar giveaway raffle. All right, E minor. Okay, the intro starts with E minor. So you play strings one, two, three, and six, and you mute the guitar immediately. Okay, you just mute the strength. Then I play D sus two, which is D with the open E string. I play strings one, two, three, and four. And then I use my little finger to play four on the fifth string. Okay, C sharp. And then I play C. Okay, strings one, two, three, and five. So what we get is this. Okay, instead of power chords, okay, we're playing, we're playing chords. We're playing finger style right off the bat. And then we have the original riff. Now I marked it as asterisk one because we're gonna repeat it in a second. So the original riff is zero, zero, seven, zero, zero, six, zero, zero, five. And then zero four zero three, and then zero two slide to one. Okay, on the sixth string. So you can play it with your thumb going up and down. Okay, or you can just pretend you have a pick and play it with your fingertips. Okay, any way that's comfortable for you. And then you have the E minor again. And I hammer on 12 on the sixth string. Okay, I hammer on 12. Okay, I have open strings. I can go here. And I hammer on 12 and pull off back to zero. And then I play. Okay, I play zero, hammer on to 11, pull off to zero on the sixth string, and then the open sixth string again. So I get this. Okay. And then this again, D sus2, the C sharp bass note, and then C again. Okay, so this may require a little bit of practice, okay, to make the jump and to make the conceptual change between and then and then okay, jumping all over the fretboard. Practice it really slowly, okay? Practice it slowly. And then you have this again. Okay, and this time I do use my fingernails and I'm pretending that I have a pick. Okay, because then we have to play the next riff. Okay, which is this. Okay, and if you want to play it in finger style, um, it's just way too demanding. So just pretend you have a pick. and play it as you would play the original song. Now, um, in case you don't know this riff, it's zero one on the sixth string, and then two on the fifth string. And then you play the same zero one, and then three on the fifth string. Okay, so it's, and then four, and then three again, and then two twice. Okay, so it's, And then you have two and three again. And then zero one again. 
and then you have power chords. Right, so it's G5, three and five on strings, um, six and five, and you slide them down to two and four, okay, to F sharp five. And then you just let go and open the sixth string, okay, so it's, and then you do it again, and then you just do the slide, and you go back to finger style, and you play zero, seven, eight, three times, on string six, five, and four. Okay, and you vibrate. Now, in the original, it's not three times, but again, this is an arrangement. So it's a little bit redacted, um, you know, just for finger style purposes, because we're playing an acoustic, so we don't want to uh, draw too much attention to the fact that there's no distortion going on, that there's no um, reverb, that there's no electric sustain, you know what I mean? So I'm just playing it three times. You can play it like the original if you want. So. Okay, now the real fun begins because we're playing the verse. Now the verse starts with E minor, okay? You better get used to this E minor, okay? So, okay, so my rhythm of choice here is to just pretend that I'm playing the rhythm of the lyrics right off the bat. So I'm just playing, I'm just playing tan, 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 okay? And I'm playing the bass, just a couple of times. I'm playing the bass note at the beginning and then right before the last note. That's not what's important here. Okay? I want you to play the rhythm as you feel comfortable playing. Okay, Find your own expression for this because this is not a fixed rhythm. Okay, The rhythm is going to change in a second. So it doesn't really... It's not that important what I'm playing here, okay? You find your own way to express this E minor chord. It's just E minor. So, and then the important thing is this, okay? The bass riff. So it's three hammer on to five on the sixth string, okay, with your thumb. And then I play the open fifth string with my finger. And then with my thumb, I play one pull off to zero on the fifth string. Okay, so this creates okay, this interesting country twang. And then I have three on the sixth string and the open fifth string. Okay, so again, thumb finger. Now, this is the first bass riff. So I marked it asterisk two, okay, because it's gonna repeat. And then you play E minor again. And you play the second bass riff, uh, the 5-8 time signature riff, okay? This is asterisk 3, and it's a bit easier. It's 3 hammer on to 5, 0, 3 hammer on to 5. That's it. Okay, so make sure you practice this until it feels convenient, okay? Because we're going to add lyrics to it. Now the lyrics come in. So the lyrics are over the E minor chord, so it's still open strings, and it's three, 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 zero, zero on the first string. And then, okay, asterisk two. Okay, so you play as one line. And then you have the second line, which is, it's easy, it's zero, 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 two, three. And then you play the second bass line, asterisk three. And then you have this, zero, two, three, two, zero. Okay, you can pull off that last note. And then three on the second string, three, two on the first. Okay, and then the E minor chord goes on a little bit. And then, I put in a little variation. It's five pull off to three, zero, three hammer on to five, okay, to mark the end of the verse. And then you just repeat everything. And then you 
bar the second fret. You bar the second fret for F sharp minor, okay? You still play strings one, two, three, and six, and you play the chord, okay? That's the melody, actually. Da, 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 da. It's just the F sharp note on the first string. And then I do this, okay? Now, um, I enjoy playing this, okay? To make it a kind of a country-inspired lick, Again, because this is acoustic finger style and because Metallica is highly influenced by country, so I feel comfortable arranging it that way. If you want to play it closer to the original, play what's in the tab, which is five on the bass, and then it's two, three pull off to two on the fifth string, and then five on the bass, two on the fifth string. And if you want to play it like I do, I just play a hammer on to five at the beginning, so it's Okay, so, okay, or without the hammer on. Okay, so I marked it as asterisk four. Um, that's our new riff, and you just play this actually three times. Okay, you play the F sharp minor chord with the F sharp high note, and then the bass line three times, and then you have this. Okay, which is two, 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 four, five on the first ring. And then, okay, from the original ref, okay, I put four on the fourth, on the D string, and I hammer on two on the fifth string. Twice, okay, for the B5 chord. But if this is inconvenient for you, um, you can just hammer on. Okay, you can just hammer on the two on the fifth string. That's more than enough. So, and then you have E minor again, okay? This is now the pre-chorus. We changed the rhythm. Okay, I play the E minor once and then I twang, okay? I pull and let the string hit the fretboard, um, the D string, and I hammer on zero to two. Okay? And then E minor again and four hammer on to five on the same string, on the D string. Okay, now you can play the E minor any way you want. You can play bass chord, you can just play the block chord. Okay, this is asterisk five. This is our new riff. And then we have Obey Your Master. Okay, so it's two on the uh, first string. And then it's C with three on the first string. And then you have two on the first string with B7. And then you have E minor with two, three. And immediately, okay, you play the fifth riff, asterisk number five. So. Okay, C, B7, E minor. And then you play the same line, but instead of two, three at the end, you play two, zero, the open E string. And then the same first line with two, three. And then at the end, the fourth time, you play, okay, up to B7, and then E minor twice, and F twice. Master, master, okay, E minor and F, both with strings one, two, three, and six. And now comes the chorus. We play E minor. Okay, and the melody note is the E string, so just play it any way you feel comfortable. And then, tuple off to zero, and then G, with three on the first string. Okay, so it's... Now, I like to play the tuple off to zero on both E strings, one and six. 
just for kicks. Um, and then G, and then you have C with the open E string. And then you have three bluff to zero, and then A major. Okay, now, according to the scale, this, this is supposed to be A minor, but the intention in the song makes me feel that this is a, a major, not A minor. So if this sounds off to you, just play A minor. I like the sound of A major. So it's... And then it's D5. It's D with five on the first string. So it's five, three, two with the D string. Three pull off to two, B7 again. E minor again. Two pull off to zero and then C with three on the first string. Master, master. Okay, E minor and F. And then E minor again. Two pull off to zero to C with the open E string. Master, master. And you can push the fretboard forward a little bit to detune it. Then you have the med solo. Um, so the acoustic part, it's not acoustic, but it's classical oriented. Um, so the classical part, exactly the same. There's no reason to arrange what's already arranged. So let's just go over it quickly. I'm pretty sure that you know this. Okay, um, so it's E minor, strings six to three. And then D, strings four, three, two, three. Zero, two, zero, hammer on, pull off on the first string, and then strings two and three, still on D. Okay, so it's... And then you add the little finger on three on the first string, you go to C. Add nine, because now you have three and three on strings one and two, and you just put the C chord ahead, okay? And you have... Okay, so it's strings uh, five, three, two, three, two, three, four, okay? On two. And then the open second string, and then you have this. Okay it's out of tune so it's two on the third string with your third finger okay and you play strings five three two and then you have zero two on the fifth string and again it's five three two you complete this into b7 and you play the chord okay and you mute the fifth string before you play the fourth so it sounds like the continuance of the bass riff. So it's... And G, okay, three on the bass, and then you do it again. Okay, I did mute. And then G, and then you have the open E bass string and you can slide to seven. Now the, the first solo is basically just arpeggios. Um, it's seven, eight, nine on strings one, two, and three. Okay, so it's, okay, it's after the bass. And then you have D, okay, it's five, seven, seven, and you play the D bass with the five. And then you play the D bass and then five, seven, seven. And then you go to C and you bar it and you play a C arpeggio. And then you open the fifth string and you still play the C arpeggio. This is now A minor seven. Okay, this is, this is now A minor seven. And then you have two on the first string, but you're still with the A bass. So you can play it again. Okay, you don't have to play it again. Okay, so it's, so it's two, and then zero to zero, hammer on, pull off on the first string, and then four, one on the second. And then you play two on the fifth string. You can harmonize with two on the third string, okay? And you play it with zero on the second string. So, okay, you can play the full B7 sound, 
or just the B bass. Okay, this starts the new solo lick. 0, 1, 3 on the second string. 0, 2, 3 on the first string. 5, 7. And you have the open E string again with the E bass. Now, um, I didn't write it twice in the, in the tab, but you can play it twice, okay? Okay, and then after you play it twice, okay, you have the E's again. You can play E minor or just the E strings. And then two on the first string, and then three with the D bass. And then you have five and three on strings one and five. Okay, and then three zero. And then I play this. Okay, it's three five three zero. Hammer on double pull off on the second string, and then C. Okay with one on the second string, so it's um, D, okay, C, into the full chord, and then I play the A bass, and I play a sort of a solo leading me to B, okay, on seven. So what I wrote in the tab is one, three on the second string, and then zero, two, three, two, zero on the first, Okay, this is a basic Spanish style, classical style solo. But you can elaborate on this any way you want. Okay, any way you want, just do whatever feels right. Okay, it's open to interpretation because this is an arrangement. This is not the original song, this is an arrangement. So you can arrange the arrangement. I'm just giving you my take on it. And then you have the chord part again. You have the bridge. The bridge starts with E minor again. And then F sharp minor. And then the riff um, becomes three on the sixth string. Okay, you can hammer it on or pick it. And the second time you have four on the fifth. Okay, so it's now the lyrics start with two 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 on the first string, and then you can okay add the bass line any way you want, and then you have two 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 five five four two, and then again. You repeat it, and then after you repeat it, you play G. And then you play F sharp major. Okay, because this is a dramatic point, so I turned the F sharp minor into F sharp major. Now, the tab says go crazy on the E and B strings. Now, what's important is to keep the E bass going. Now, what I like to do is I like to just, um, um, just, you know, go wild. So I slide. And then you can just uh, go down the scale on both strings because um, except for the first and second frets, you have the same frets. So it's 10 and 12. Okay, you can do it on both. I just hammer on and then double pull off to zero. Okay, 10 and 12. And then 8 and 10. 7 and 8. 5 and 7. Uh, 3 and 5. And then it's 2 and 3 and 1 and 3. And then um, I start making some noise. Now, the best way to make noise in a heavy metal setting is to use a tritone. So the tritone can be two in one, 
can be six and five. It can be anywhere you want. And then I just go high to end the solo. And then you have the post solo riff, which is E minor again. And then it's this, zero, two, three on the sixth string and then on the fifth string. Now you can just hammer on all the notes. And then on the D string, you have zero, two, four, and then the open G string. Okay, so it's, and then it's C. And then you go back down with two, three, two, zero, hammer on, double pull off on the fifth string, and then three, pull off to two on the sixth. And then again. And you can, you can play whatever you want here. You can uh, play your own variation of this. I like to variate on the um, on the dissension, okay, from C back to E minor, and then you go back to the verse, and you play the verse, you play the pre-chorus, and you play the chorus, and you end on master, master, and if you want, you can add a laughter, <laughs> and you can download the tab for free. The link is below in the description. If you're not subscribed to Lick and Riff yet, I welcome you here and I'd love to have you here. There's a ton of guitar material here. And while you're there on my website uh, to download the full tab book, you can also scroll down and check out the summer enrollment to my Break Your Boundaries course program. Over a hundred hours of premium guitar material of in-depth courses on anything you want to learn, anything you ever dreamed of playing on the guitar, anything you ever dreamed to unleash on your guitar is there. So uh, I'd love to see you inside my program and you might win a Blue Love a guitar at the end of this summer, at the end of August. Uh, so check it out. There's a guitar giveaway going on among all new members. So thank you so much for watching. Have fun, have fun, have fun. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.